Hey, how's it going? I'm Links, and today we got some quick news about tomorrow's upcoming third anniversary patch for Grand Cross. So first of all, we're getting a new light attribute uh, Liz here. Uh, while she herself isn't all that great, I guess, uh, not from what I've seen, she does have some fairly interesting cards and abilities. So she has a flood card, just like the one Eskinor. She has a card which increases damage based on uh, her max HP. So by 3, 5 and 8% for each orb in her own ultimate uh, gauge orbs, I guess. So up to 5 times that, so 40%. I mean, it's not the best. It's an AoE though, so th this gold card hits for very hard, I guess. So Her ultimate is something akin to uh, the Purgatory Ban ultimate, where it does she does 30% of her HP or max HP as damage to all enemies. And then for also for one turn at 1-6 to 5-6, uh, she applies a buff which revives allies for one turn. At 6-6 six, six, that becomes two turns. Uh, between 1-6 and 3-6 it is a blue buff that can be removed. And at 4-6, uh, 5-6 six, six, and 6-6 six, six, it becomes a grey buff that cannot be removed. So having dupes of her is pretty much needed if you want to play her. Um, her passive here increases uh, allies' basic stats, or specific allies' basic stats, which is herself, uh, Seven Deadly Sins heroes, and also the four Archangels, so Zariel, Tarmiel, Ludosiel, and also in the future, Mile. And uh, anytime they use a card, uh, up to six times, they get 4% basic stat increase, so HP, attack, and defense, up to four times six percent, obviously. Um, so 24% basic stat increase, and once they reach the max stacks, uh, they gain 30% uh, HP. So, or they get healed for 30%, I mean. And um, and then Liz herself gains an additional 15% basic stat increase. I mean, she is quite interesting. Uh, the banner is very good if you're, new, if you're a new player, and it has a lot of units that all become level 80. Uh, so pretty much set if you're if you make a new account or if you're fairly new um, you're gonna be able to just speed through the story with ease and just by getting some of these units it's not the greatest banner in the world uh, for you know veteran players that are aiming for specific units so for example greater melee um, because it is only 0.15% chance because they crammed in 26 units here yeah, 26 units, that's crazy man. 26 SSR units. We do have uh, how many festival units, so it's 6 festival units including Liz here. And then we do have some very nice units. All things considered, we got the very much needed for the bird boss and deer boss units. We got uh, the green Sariel, uh, Bronhild very nice. Uh, I mean red Sariel isn't too bad. Skadi. This is trash, absolute trash. The new Ban. Uh, Fairly okay, decent, I guess. Sigurd, awesome. Uh, his holy relic is pretty busted. Arthur, that's good. Armiel, yeah, that's fine. And then it's starting to sort of drop off here. And Chandler is still okay, I guess. And then this Ragnarok Merlin is, is good, but all the rest are complete trash. Like, even for a new player, they are complete trash. But, I mean, if, if those are the units you pull, they, they will still help you through the story. So, I mean, that's nice, I guess. Oh, and the light attribute itself, uh, which comes with this new Liz here, uh, reduces the damage allies take by 10% from characters or units that are type disadvantage to said character. So, like, instead of doing 30% less damage, they're gonna do an additional 10% less damage. And then also all light units take... Uh, 10% reduced damage, so from all attributes, which is, I mean, it's not the worst, but that's kind of nice. And we're also getting chapter 23 of the main story, and uh, with it we'll see a bunch of new animations. I believe a new ultimate for the Zeldris. We're gonna see Chandler and Kusex in evolved forms, and some new animations with Escanor. That's gonna be Holy Spear Escanor, so that's kind of cool. So we're getting level 100 limit break, and with it we're getting these new UR pendants and also these original demon energy thingies that we're gonna use for, you know, limit breaking to 95, from uh, 90 to 95 and also 95 to 100. 
And that mean, also means we're gonna need a lot more Belmoth materials. Uh, these ones specifically cost... Uh, you can craft them at King, I think, for six of these SSR pendants. So, a total you need 12 SSR pendants to go from 90 to 100. Which is just ridiculous, because it takes 12 just to go from, I suppose, 50 to 80. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very, very costly. Uh, this is the new original demon. Uh, and if you complete these three at the bottom here, you're gonna spawn the original demon. And if you complete these three at the top, you're gonna spawn Elmoth. And this is on hell difficulty, so... Yeah, it's very annoying that you have to keep farming all of them every day. Constantly, all day. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> We're also getting the new card set here, which you can get from various event rewards. Um, I do believe... Some of them are from the Hawkspin event, so get these card packs which contain one card for the whole set, so make sure to check out where you can get those. You can check all the events thingies here. Uh, oh, it takes you to a website, I guess. Now oh, this isn't Japanese, but I mean, you see all the events and stuff like that, so that's where you can find that information. Go first getting a new Holy Relic, which is busted. <laughs> it's just broken. And the Liz is also getting some new cosmetics here, which is pretty standard to get three cosmetics for a festival unit, and I guess normal units as well. Um, they will be paid cosmetics for a, a limited time, and then at a later date they will be able to purchase them, or you will be able to purchase them with uh, gems, so yeah. You will also be able to buy all festival and holy war festival units up to and including Chad King here, uh, so... Pretty much everything except for the Traitor Meliodas and the Queen Diane, which are the two latest festival units, so you can buy them for three coins each. So if you have some spare coins, you can get some dupes of nice units. Next we have Ludo Margaret, which is getting added as a login reward hero, so you know the hero that gives you the login rewards every day. Um, we're also getting 300 gems as a login reward, so on day one we're getting 30 gems, and then for each uh, subsequent day we're getting 10 gems each, up to 270 additional gems, so 300 gems total for 28 days of logging in. So make sure to log in every day, it's quite rewarding actually, so that's quite nice. Next we're getting a new Hawk Pass, and if you're paying for the Hawk Pass, don't forget to repurchase it uh, to retain your, you know, stacking bonus rewards I suppose. And we're also getting a new cosmetic for like the regular rewards. I mean, it's not a new one, it's an old one, but still new for some people. And two stickers, these are the new items, the other ones are old, and then we're losing one of the cosmetics and I guess two of the stickers. And we're also getting the new Diane uh, Hawk Pass cos uh, costume, so that's quite nice. I do believe the Sariel one was the one that was here uh, before that's going away. So, if you haven't bought it yet, buy it. Uh, the ones we're, we're still having is the Dead King, or maybe it's with the Gopher one. Oh man, I forgot. One of those two. <laughs> one of the Gopher or the Sorrel one is going away, and if you don't have them, make sure you buy them before. I mean, if you want them, of course. But, yeah, we're getting the new Diane one. And she's getting her full cosmetics, I suppose, so that's kind of nice. Then there's the paid thingies that no one cares about. Um, and also some quality of life things, like you can skip the uh, daily login reward thingy. Uh, you, we're also getting a bit more of these uh, victory rewards, so the boxes could give two at least, now they give four, so at least we're getting a little bit more material drops, so that's kind of nice. And then we're also getting the pendant exchange thingies here, so six of these for one of the new ones, and then you can also actually craft these, and also craft these, so that's kind of nice. We're also getting a new hawk here. Uh, it's nice to get three units, but this hawk is trash, so don't waste your pendants actually leveling him up. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> and I don't believe it's mentioned here, uh, but you're actually getting a level 90. Let me see here. So if we go back here, when you complete the, all the missions here, uh, you're gonna get this thing. Uh, which basically mean, makes it so that you can level one character up to level 90. Uh, I'm gonna use it on the new Goddess Liz, of course, because I'm gonna summon for it. And 
But my summoning video is gonna come up late because I do have work tomorrow, unfortunately. So, yep. We'll just see. We'll see how it goes. Probably trash because <laughs> the banner is not the greatest. I don't need most units in it, and yeah, even at four percent chance, I'm not too hopeful. I did get, and I'll put it up on the screen here, on my JP account, I did get a triple SSR multi, and uh, yeah, it was quite nice, got Greater Melee and Purgatory Bond in the same multi. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Um, hope you liked the video, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!